Hello, YouTube. It's, it's my birthday. birthday. Today, we will go through how to change the background in C Sharp. Uh, I have a new microphone. Tell me if you like it in the comments. It's very cool. Now well, let's get into it. So we will make a new project. Windows forms out. Very well. So, first of all, we need to add some buttons and some other things. So, this button, we will have it for selection of the image. So, select. Let's make that a bit bigger. Yeah, there we go. Copy, paste. We will add a picture box so we can see how the picture looks before we add it to the screen. So something like this. Yeah. Let's see how it looks. That's beautiful. Alright, so double click on select picture button, should take you to the button one, underscore click method, but first of all, we want to add using system dots enter. No, oh, never mind, it's dot runtime interrupt services. We need this for the user 32 import, yeah. And after that, we can import user 32.yellow. So, yellow import user 32.yellow because C sharp doesn't have all the functions in itself. So we have to import this one for from C, right? I don't know. I'm not a coder. Alright, static extern int 32 system parameters info. And it takes uh, four arguments. So it's uint32 action uint u param string v param and uint32 win any. So that's for the DLL inputs. Now we need some values which we will declare as variables. So first one, uint32 SPI set wall equals if you want to learn more about these numbers, these hexadecimal numbers and this one, I will link it in the description. Because I cannot explain it that well. <laughs> and spiff up. 
bracket equals 0x01 and a last one uint32 spf send equals 0x2 now when we click this button select picture we want a file or show file dialog to appear so we can select uh, files from the file explorer so for that we need to declare and how you do that is you write open file dialog let's call it op equals new open file dialog and the path which we will get from the file dialog we, we're going to declare that as well so string file path row 1 uh, we're done up here now let's go into the bottom one or yeah bottom one click So if op.show dialog e, uh, equals dialog result dot ok which means it's ok <laughs> file path equals op file name and the picture we have here uh, actually oh no <laughs> we need to set it to stretch image because if you choose a, uh, a bigger size than this one it will not show everything so you have to set it to stretched but let's go back we want to change the picture of the picture box so picture box one dot image equals image dot from file and the file path we set earlier. So we we'll pick a file and the file path we picked will or the file path will be declared to that file we chose and the picture box one dot image equals that file path or that image very easy so we can test this actually let's take some old background and as you see it's in the form you can test with someone uh, something else works wonders but we want to change the background of the PC not the form so we will go to the set wallpaper button double click it gets us to the void or function here we will do the system parameters info which we declared up here so system para info and we need to add four arguments so first one set wall next one is zero and here is the file path or the path of the image we want to set so file path and after that it's if update and this pipe thing <laughs> I don't know what to call it and spiff dot or underscore swedini <laughs> alright so it is actually not more code than this it's a very easy thing to do, but 
I didn't find much about it on YouTube or Google for C Sharp. So this tutorial might be good for the newer people to C Sharp, like me. So again, yeah. Very beautiful. Uh, headshot. So let's go back to that one. So thank you for watching, guys. Uh, leave a like you enjoyed this content it was helpful maybe write a comment maybe there were some errors I made whatever you want to do just tell me about it or you can support me monthly for only one dollar a month helps me has motivates me to make more videos and helps me in the future but thank you guys for watching. See you later.